Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, my dear students? Fine. Fine, fine. Very good. So, how was your day? Was it good, bad, so so? Excellent. Perfect. It was perfect. Hey, that's very nice. Right. Anything special, Maximo? I do all activities. Oh, you did all the activities. Great. You say I did because it's past. It's See, done. I did. I did all Great. activities. Nice. Very good job. Okay. So for me, it's a pleasure to see you once again in this final class of the week. Today is our Friday. Because tomorrow you will have your vacation of the week. Well, we are going to start... Uh, our class welcoming everybody, welcoming Elizabeth, Iris, Omar, Mr. Maximo, Maritza, Rosario, right? It's a pleasure to have you here. And for me, it's a great pleasure to serve you once again in class. Today, we are going to continue working a little bit on professions and occupations. And we are also going to work in the platform so we can finish everything. And if you haven't had the opportunity to advance, we are going to do it today. So we can advance together on, on all the activities. So just to give a quick catch up, remember to practice your English as much as possible, to ask for help whenever you need, to keep your cameras on all the time, to attend sessions on time, to participate as much as possible, to keep a cooperative attitude during class, and for sure, to collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, right? That is the most important part of the day, right? To remind you about the different agreements that we have for our class. So we're going to start with this question. What did we study in the previous class? Do you remember? What did we study in the previous class? Uh -huh. What did we study yesterday? Solo fue ayer, no creo que ya se les haya olvidado. What did we study, huh? Profession and occupation. Professions and occupations. What else did we study yesterday? Do you furniture. remember? Furniture. furniture. Excellent. We studied furniture. What else? We studied furniture. We studied professions and occupations. What type of grammar did we study yesterday? And there are. There is and there, there are. There is and there are. Very good. There is and there are. Very good. So we are going to continue working with professions and occupations today. We are going to work a little bit also on the different activities that people do in their jobs. Here, this is what we studied yesterday. Just to make a quick catch up. Do you remember names of professions and occupations? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. yes. Can you give me nurse. some? Nurse. Doctor. Doctor. Cashier. Cashier. Salesperson. Salesman, good. Salesperson. Security Jude. guard. Security guard. Nurse. Lauder. Pilot. A lawyer, a pilot, good. Pilot, pilot. <laughs> no, it, pilot. it was not you. A teacher, right? Oh. A teacher, good. Waiter. A waiter. Artist. A waitress. A waitress. What is the other one, it is? Artist. An artist, good, an artist, very a nice. A chef. A chef, actor. an actor, an actor or an actress, right? Engineer. An engineer. engineer. 
engineer, very good. A mechanic. A mechanic, excellent. Teacher, sorry, one question. Dentist. A dentist, eh, good. Ayer yes. no, no mandó homework, ¿verdad? Ah, el grupo. No, no, it's because I, I saw that they sent you to work in the platform. Es que vi que los ah, mandaron okay. a trabajar en la plataforma y dije yo, no. <laughs> Y nadie, nadie le recordó. <risa> Yo dije, nadie me dijo nada. No, pero después que vi el recordatorio de Mr. Orellana que, los, que les recordaba a trabajar en la plataforma, que ese fue un trabajo de todos los días. ¿verdad? Entonces yo dije, sí, no, hoy, hoy les voy a dar vacation. <risa> les iba a enviar, justo después de eso les iba a enviar tarea. Yo dije, no, que trabajen en la plataforma. Porque igual en la noche vamos a, a trabajar en la plataforma. Ya, el salvado. Okay. Nadie, nadie me dijo. <risa> no digamos sí, sí, nada, de... no, no, ah, no le recuerden, ah. don't remember. <risa> Yo le iba a decir, mis, pero me, se me iban a regañar todos, así que por eso mejor no le recuerdo. <risa> no, no, para nada, para nada. Si no, mándeme un mensaje personal, a ver si nadie se entera. <risa> ¿Quién me acordó de la tarea? No, pero acuerdo. No, teacher, que... ¿para qué le digo? <risa> <risa> Acuérdense que es, es, es práctica en realidad, es una, es una práctica personal y, y sí, vea, si estuviéramos en clases presenciales ahorita todos hubieran vuelto a ver a Luis así de... <risa> Come on. <risa> ok, so, but uh, I am going to do it today when we finish, ok. Hoy sí van a tener, ya que no les dejé ayer, hoy sí les voy a dejar. Ok, y todo. Gracias, Rui, gracias. <laughs> ok, professions and occupations. Very good. So we were doing a, a quick catch up on the different professions, right? We were also practicing these ones. The cashier, the cook, the chef, the doctor, the flight attendant, the judge, the lawyer, musician, because it's from music, right? Music, musician, nurse, uh, pilot, Police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, security guard, singer, singer, right? A singer, waiter, waitress. And for sure, when you want to approach and when you want to mention something specific about a profession, you say he is a or she is a. And uh, you use it. It's exactly as in Spanish, right? Él es un doctor, él es un dentista, right? He is a receptionist, she is a teacher, he is a cashier, he is a lawyer, right? That's the form of sentence that you use when you talk about professions and occupations. And in this one, here we have the different places where you can find the different people in the picture. For example, what other professions can you find in a hospital? We have the doctor and the nurse. What other Recep profession? Uh -huh. Receptionist. A receptionist, good. What else? If you go to a hospital, what other people can you find there? What other professions? Uh -huh. How do you call that one? That it's a janitor. Let me just write it right here. I am going to include it here in the box. You are going to find a janitor, right? The janitor is the person in charge of all the cleaning. Security you are, guard. You are going to find a receptionist, a security guard. Good. A security guard. What else are you going to find if you go to a hospital? Teacher y enferm nurse, nurse nurse es para enfermera, pero Enfer también hay enfermero. ¿verdad? Yes, it's for the two of them. It's exactly I like doctor, right? Doctor is okay. for boys and girls. Okay, thanks. And nurse is also for boys and girls. Yep. Teacher y la... Yep. En las que dan en la medicina, en la farmacia, ¿cómo sería? Well, that could be like... Um, Como it, pharma, farmacéutico. A, farm, a pharmacist. A pharmacist, it's like el encargado de farmacia, right? Ajá. 
Uh -huh. Any other person that you can find? Don't remember. Y eso que solo en el seguro paso. <laughs> well, you are going to have a lot of patience, right? You are going to have a lot of patience. Also, patients are the people who are waiting for the for for the for the doctor, right? Y los más desesperados, los familiares de los pacientes. <laughs> yeah, the, the visitors, right? The ones that are just doing nothing. I, I well when I go to the to the social uh, to the social security uh, place that I have here near my house, I take a book <laughs> and I read. <laughs> yeah, or I listen to music, but it's because you know that you have to have like one hour or two if you are going to go it's, to the social security. It's correct. Yeah, don't think that you are going to go in ten minutes. No, <laughs> no, no, Tita, you don't go in ten minutes. <laughs> In an office, what type of professions can you find in an office? A secretary. A secretary. A secretary. What else? ¿Cómo se diría digitador? Well, that would be like um. Like Pero a, es lo mismo. But yeah, it, we don't we don't have like this specific profession. It would be like a secretary as well. Because the, in most of the cases, we have a programmer or a computer technician that is the one in charge of writing. But here, the secretary does all the job. Okay. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Well, no, in that case, no. <laughs> uh, in that case, you have a, for licenciado itself, we don't have a profession. You can I'm have the different out. professions, right? For example, an accountant, a teacher, um, a lawyer, uh, a judge, and everything. And you know that they have studied for that, right? Está el gerente. ¿Cómo se le dice al sugerente? You can have a manager or a sub-manager. Sub-manager. Yeah, or you can have the CEO, that it's the computer, the, the, the one in charge of the company. The CEO. Mm -hmm. It's like the top of the company. El encargado de todos. That's the CEO. Están los asistentes de los de los. Yeah, the assistant. Yeah, I don't have an assistant. I need one. <laughs> an assistant, right? If you have different professions, there. and for sure you are going to find all the other professionals of the office, right? Teacher, and, y para decir costurera. Okay, for that one, I am going to write it here on top. I'm going to write it here. You, you can have dressmaker, or if it is a sastre, it's a tailor. A dressmaker is for the ladies, and a tailor is sastre. It's mostly for men and, and also the one who makes suits and all that and uniforms. It's a tailor, es un sastre. Okay. Yeah. If you go to a store, what type of professions can you find in a store? A cashier. A cashier, good. Cashier. What else? Vendedor, como dijo que se decía, teacher? Salesperson. Uh, a salesperson. In a this sales. one, you are going to find an assistant too. The one that it's helping you to buy. He's like, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need <laughs> behind you all the time? No, no me muerda. Mm. O pegar si me muerda. Niño. Lo estoy acariciando. <laughs> Lo siento. Lo siento. No, no me fui aquí todavía. No, no me muerdan a la Eli. ¿Qué es eso? Es que mírenlo. Mírenlo, mírenlo. ¿Y dónde está? No lo miro. Esa, uh, no sé, la cámara. ¿dónde está? Se nos perdió. Se nos perdió. Ahí está. Se nos fue. Ah, es el gato. Eh. Ahí está, mi Luis. Es el gato. <risa> es el chimuelo. Ay, va el chimuelo. Deja estar mordiendo a la Eli. El famoso chimuelo. <risa> lo siento. No me percaté que tenía el micrófono encendido. No problem, Eli. Here we are a family. We understand. El chimuelo is it's from the class. Ya chimuelo es de todo, ya. 
paguen la wish card. <laughs> Yo creo que debe saber también un poco de inglés. Yeah, yeah, he knows. He knows a lot. It's like Kiara. Kiara, <laughs> Kiara knows English. She has been here all the COVID pandemic learning English. My dog. <laughs> yeah. So we have a cashier, a salesperson, an assistant. For sure, in all the stores, you have a, security. a security guard. A security guard because, I mean, they they have money there, so they have to, to take care of it. And in a hotel, what type of professions can you find there? Receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. El janitor. The janitor, for sure, because he's going to keep the manager. hotel clean. A manager, very good. A manager. Let me see. I am going to look for one, for a specific one. Let's see. Camarera, como se dice? A waiter or a waitress. Waitress. Waitress or a waiter, if it is a man. A waiter. Let's see. I am going to look for one. And let me see, here it is. The bellman. You're going to find the bellman. Do you know what is the bellman? Botones. The, the one that takes your bags to the room, right? That is the bellman. Yes, so these are the different uh, professions that you find in a hotel. Tell me professions that wear a uniform all the day. The police. The police officers, good. Soldier. A doctor. The soldiers, the doctors. What else? Sec secretary. The security the work. Secretaries, yeah, all the... The, the what? Bellman. The bellman, yeah, he wears a uniform all the day. And the jan janitor. The janitor as well. A Tell pilot. Me, the pilot, right? Tell me one profession that stands all the day. The security, the, security. Uh, the, salesperson. the salesperson, yes. The security guard. What else? The, the policeman. The policeman, right? The, the janitor. The janitor. Tell me a profession that sits all the day. The secretary. The secretary. What is Juan? Juan is not here today. Let me see. Juan. The Juan. manager. The manager. Let me see. No. He's secretary. A, nurse. The secretary. The nurse. Well, the nurse uh, is standing all the day in all the hospital. And in some cases, it's like, yeah, she's sitting there. <laughs> and then he's, he's just there. Let's see. Profession that handles money. Handles money is que toca y cashier. 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 Secretary. The secretary, in some cases, the CEO also. Manager. The manager. The accountant. Contadores. The accountant. 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 I am going to write it. I am going to write it here. Accountant. Accountant. The accountant. Yeah, he, he he manages the money for the company. Tell me a profession that talks to people. A salesperson. <laughs> the salesperson. <laughs> the salesperson. A teacher. The teacher. Recep the receptionist. The call center agents. The call center uh -huh. agents. Tele teleoperator. The teleoperators, right? Yeah, Juan. I was looking for Juan and, and I didn't see nurse. him. Nurse. The nurse. The doctor. doctor. Good. The yeah, doctor. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, good evening. Thank you for calling Igre Corporativo. Natalie is here. What can I help you? <laughs> 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 Tell me a profession that works at night. The, the doctor, the doctor, the nurse, the nurse, the TikTok, the security work, <laughs> the, the, the YouTubers, the 
The teleoperators, yeah, they work all night. Yes, and in some cases, the teachers too. Look, I work at night. <laughs> I work at night. And then, then if you have another class from nine to 10, you continue working, right? I don't have to ask you this one because all the professions work hard. Yeah. All the professions, even if it is easy or not, all the professions work hard. But you know what is the one that works the most? It's the housewife. I'm the cousin. Yes. This profession includes everything. My yes. God, she's a psychology, <laughs> a chef, a, a nurse, a teacher, a helper, an assistant, a cashier, a manager, a janitor, everything. A everything in, in one, right? El que diga que no se nada. Yeah, amazing. Well, the Mason also. It's very, very difficult and people work really hard. Mason is albañil, right? They work really hard all the day. Tell me a profession who writes tickets or gives bills. Cashier. The cashier, good. Cashier. A CEO. A CEO, yeah, he writes tickets and, and things. Good. Uh, sec uh, the secretary, the police uh, officer. Sales, sales first. Yeah, the police uh, sales first, the police no. officer. Mm -hmm. Un pequeño tic exit. Mm -hmm. sí. Ah, no, respiro. No, no me gusta como respiro. <laughs> <laughs> And then you get another ticket for that, right? So this is one of the profession who does that. Something interesting that you can see here in the different forms of the professions that I have shown is the way of the verb. You say wears, stands, sits, handles, talks, works, writes, right? I know that maybe the ones who were here in the previous level, you should have studied third person singular. That is the S form of the verb, right? wears a uniform, stands all day, because you are talking about a third person. Como estamos hablando de una tercera persona, right? In this case, como estamos hablando de alguien yes. más, you have to add the S to the verb, okay? Wears a uniform, stands all day, sits all day, handles money, talks to people, works at night, works hard and writes tickets, okay? That is the form that we are going to use in the next slide. Let me just, okay. Did you copy them or I don't know if you are going to use it. I am going to go to the next one. Here, I have a short conversation and it says, okay, according to what I just said, con lo que les acabo de decir, pueden identificar una oración en la conversación donde ocupen la tercera persona singular? He's a front desk agent. Uh -huh. He's a front desk agent, but in the verb. Pueden encontrar una oración donde... Works. Uh -huh. Very My good. My brother works. My brother works. Right, you are talking about the brother. Any other one? Where you make the change of the third person? Your brother work. Uh, sure. First, first night. Ah, where does, okay, yeah, in this case, yes, you have the third person in a question, right? Where does your brother work? Another one. He is like. front desk agent. Yeah, he's a front desk agent. In this case, you don't change that much, that much, but you are talking about a third person. What about the next one? He oh, no. doesn't like. How does, How does he like it? Right? He like it. How does he like it? And for sure, you have a negative one. He doesn't. He doesn't, like, doesn't like, like. He doesn't like the manager, right? And for the next one, what is another sentence in third person that you have there? What hotel? What, what hotel? 
for? Does he work for? Right. What hotel does he work for? The next one that you have here is uh, my brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What do he do? What does he do? And it says he is the manager. Now, as you can see, all the conversation is based on talking about something else or someone else, right? In this one, let's read the conversation. Where does your brother work? In a hotel? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? How does he like it significa? ¿Le gusta? ¿Le gusta lo que hace? How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. Hmm, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. It would be like, okay. It is like, ¿le gusta su trabajo? No, no mucho. No me gusta el gerente. No le gusta el gerente. And then it says like, and your brother? Where does he work? In the plaza. Really? My brother works there too. What does he do? He's the manager, right? <laughs> so the manager is the brother of the other lady here. And this one is the brother of this one, right? So it's like a big thing there. So my dear students, you are going to be Angela and I'm going to be Rachel. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In, In a, a hotel. hotel. In a Everybody hotel. at the same time. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Um, How does, does he like it? He likes he like it. it. Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That, that's, that's not, not too bad. bad. What, what, what hotel does he work for? Work for? Work for? The plaza. That's funny. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. I don't like the other Actually. manager. <laughs> right. Actually, he's like, in este momento, right? En este I'm momento, in este preciso momento. Or oh, cuando decimos en este caso, actually, he's the manager. Like, in efecto. Él es el manager. He'll be like, <coughs> no, el, el que me cae mal es el otro manager. No, este manager. <laughs> I'm kidding. The war is a small. <laughs> yeah, it is indeed, right? It is, it is very, very, very small. Okay, let's switch for you to practice the other role. You start in one, two, three. Go. Where does your brother work? Everybody at the same time. No, no, no. Organizemos. One, two, three, go. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. In a hotel. Oh, oh really? really? My really? brother, my brother works in a hotel too. Hotel. He's, He's a from the agent. 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 How does agent. he like it? Agent. No, no very, very much. much. He, he doesn't, doesn't like, 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 like manager. Manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, oh that. that's what does, what, does does he do? Do? what does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He's the manager that your brother hates. <laughs> when you say that's interesting. Interesting, right? That's interesting. That's interesting. It is. Interesting. It is very common that people say interesting. interesting. Y eso es bien común. El que de repente hay muchos cuando empiezan y aprenden y dicen interesting, and it's interesting. 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 And interesting. Y como todo en la vida. Como todo en la vida tiene diferentes tonos. Si de repente su esposa le dice, mm, interesting. Ah, very interesting. Mm, interesting. Really interesting. 
so it has different different intonations for different situations. But this is for to say, I'm killing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tienes tres segundos para oír. <laughs> Mira, te cae un mensaje. Qué interesante. <laughs> Run. <laughs> and then you have to escape. Interesting, right? Interesting. Don't say interesting. Okay? The next one. Actually. 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 Agent. 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 Very nice. So now that we identify the different questions, we are going to go to. My God. We are going to go and practice. The different questions for sure are going to take place in different situations. If you say, where do you work? We are going to talk about the place where we work. What do you do? Is the activity that you do. How do you like it? Te gusta o no? Lo disfrutas o no lo disfrutas? This is for first person. And in this case, we are going to use it for I, for you, for we, or for they, right? Oh, here you have the one for they. We're going to use it only for I, you, I and you, okay. Where does he work? This one, we can use it for he or she, right? And remember that if you use the auxiliary, does the verb, it's normal in the questions, right? And the last one that we have here, it's for the plural person. And in this case, we have it for we and for they. It says, it is not very common to ask questions with I, okay? No van a ver que sea muy común las preguntas con I. Si no las hacemos. Si sí existen, si sí funcionan. In Spanish, they are very common. Did I finish? Did I go? Did I like it? Did I eat? Did I take a shower? I don't remember. Did I close the door? And you don't remember, right? Cerra la puerta, no cerra la puerta. Apague la plancha, no la apague la plancha. Apague la tele. So it's very common that you ask questions to yourself. But in English, it's not really common. You don't say, where do I work? A menos que perdamos la memoria. Where do I work? Where do I live? No, right. Where do you work? It is very common that you ask someone else. I can say, for example, Esmeralda, where do you work? Tell me the place. What? Where do you work? Uh, in a empresa. Ah, but that is an office, that it's a... a ah. It's a factory, an office, it's a, a place, it's a house. What is it? I don't understand. Okay, the place, Intradesa, is it an office, uh -huh. a factory? What is it? Es una oficina, ajá, es una oficina, una fábrica, un hospital, ¿qué? It's a factory. Great. Pero, ¿Verdad que? Ajá. No, no, no. Ajá. Okay. Es... Una fábrica sería factory, ¿no? Yeah, sí, factory, a factory. Ah, yes. factory. Entonces a factory. Ajá, porque si le pregunto, ah. where, where do you work? Vamos a contestar con el lugar. In ah. a hospital, you say. Or you can mm. say, to be specific, in intradesa factory. To make it clear and specific. Or ah. if you say, at primero de mayo, hospital. It's just mm -hmm. to make it clear. Aquí viene la siguiente pregunta. What do you do? Esmeralda, what is your profession? There in Intradesa. What do you do? I inspector. I am an inspector, a supervisor. I am an inspector. I am an, inspe an inspector because it's with I. I am is an inspector. Okay, I, I will write it. Se lo voy a escribir aquí. I am, uy, sorry. I, <laughs> my God. I am an inspector. And Teacher, the, yep. yo, yo quería hacerle una pregunta. Yep. Porque en la plataforma me salían unos ejemplos que si solo le ponía A y la profesión, 
me lo tomaba como malo, tenía que ponerle an. For uh -huh. what? Okay, y that's a very good question. And... ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre an y el a? Ah, okay, a mí se me olvida que ya no, que, que, que algunos de ustedes no estuvieron aquí el módulo pasado. Porque los del módulo pasado sí les jalo las orejas y no las salen. <laughs> ya no me acuerdo más. A is for consonants. Consonants. And an is for vowels. Si la profesión empieza con una consonante, tiene que llevar a antes. Si empieza con una vocal, lleva an. For example, engineer, right? Ah, empieza con i. You say an engineer. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. an engineer. You cannot say a engineer, porque no podemos tener dos vocales juntas. Okay, that's the reason. Uh, okay. That's the reason. A is for consonant and an is for vowels. Any other profession uh, that you have with with vowel? Artist. An artist, right? Another profession that you have with vowels? Otra profesión que comienza con vocal? An architect, good. An architect. Uh -huh. Another profession that starts with with vowel? So that's the difference. A is for consonants and an is for vowels. So that's the main difference, Luis. Very good question. Thank you. Teacher. That's a very good question. Siempre que se pregunten alguna cosa y digan, no, de verdad no me acuerdo cómo se usa, bring it to the class. Tráigansela a la clase que con gusto aquí la resolvemos. And the final question for Esmeralda. How do you like it? How do you like your job? I really like it. You really like it, right? I really like it. De veras me gusta un montón. Mr. Luis Arevalo, where do you work? Uh, in a impresora, ¿cómo se diría, teacher? Well, uh, okay, let me just find the name of the place because it cannot be a printer, right? But it can be, it, it is possible. Let me find. Let me see. I have a friend who knows everything. Tengo mi amigo aquí que me conoce todas, todas. My friend Google. Let's see. <laughs> And because also we have a uh, Rosario. Yeah, uh, uh, let's see, yeah, a printing office. Printing. A printing, printing office. A printing plant. That's the, that's ah, the printing that's plant. The, that is the best definition. A printing, printing plant. plant. Yeah, ah, it's okay. like the place, the place where all this magic works, right? A printing okay. plant. Good. So you work in a printing plant. What do you do? And I, I, I am a auxiliary of operator. Okay, you are an auxiliary auxiliary operator. Good. How do you like it? Yes. I like it very much. I quite like it and I don't like it. I, I like it more or less. <laughs> I quite like it. When you say, I quite like it, it's like, si me gusta, me gusta. Lo no, disfruto. No, no lo amo, pero me gusta. <laughs> right? And when you really do it, I can say, I love it. If someone asks me about my job, I will say, I love it. Because, I mean, I love it. It's, it's a beautiful <laughs> job, right? So that's a good answer. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Juan Hernandez. Welcome to the class, Mr. Juan. Where do you work? Mr. Juan Hernandez. Mr. Juan Hernandez. Hello, <laughs> Hello. how are Hello. you? Where do you work, Juan? I am doing excellent. Uh, okay. uh, I work at Consensus. 
in a call center. What do you do? Yeah. Uh, I take calls every day. I take calls. And how do you like it? Uh, I don't like it. Because uh, uh -huh. imagine I, I work at customer service and that's a big problem, right? You fight a lot. Uh, no, because I, I, I need to be very... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. You... <laughs> You have to be polite. That's why uh, I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> but I quite like it, you say. I quite like it. Like, me gusta un poquito. I don't like it. it, it <laughs> no, I don't like it. Yeah, you are very honest. <laughs> I love that. You're very honest. So it's true. It's true. I mean, yeah. But but it's nice that you are learning here because you want something better for your life. That's cool. If yeah. we want to ask questions to a third person, where does he work? For example, a person in your house, where does he or she work? Imagine if you're talking about your husband or your wife or your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, etc. Where does he work? Where does she work? Because you are talking about someone else. What does he do? How does he or she like it? And if you are talking about, for example, your mother and your father, Si estamos hablando de mamá y papá, where do they work? ¿Dónde trabajan ellos? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay. Eso lo tenemos que tener en mente. Si hablamos de una tercera persona, where does? Si hablamos de I, you, we, they, where do? Okay. That is uh, something of the most important things of the topic. Here, when we are uh, actually working in the pronunciation, uh, it is very common that we join the sounds, like where do you work? Where do you work? What, what do you do? Where does he work? What does he do, right? Where do they work? What do they do? You try to join the words for you to sound a little bit more fluent. So in this one say, where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do, right? You try to make the sound equal for you to sound a little bit more fluent. Iris, can you help us reading this one? ¿Nos puedes ayudar a leer esta? Iris? Where do you work? Where do you work, right? Where do you work? The next one, Luis. What do you do? What do you do, right? What do you do? Juan, the next one. In the third one? This one. Oh, where does he work? Where does he work? The next one, it's going to be for uh, Rosario. What do he do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Very good, Elizabeth. Where do they work? Where do they work, right? Where do they work? And the last one, Susana. What do you do? What do they do, right? What do they do? Como que si uniéramos las dos palabritas que están en negrita, right? Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? How do they do? And what do they do? So that is the pronunciation and the reduction of the sound at the moment of practicing the questions. So in this one, before we go to the platform in the last 15 minutes that we're going to have. It says, what does your sister do? In this one, as we have does, and we have sister for sure, we use the normal form of the verb because we use the auxiliary here. And it says, my sister, she's a nurse. It is difficult, but she loves it. ¿Qué pregunta nos contesta esta respuesta? It is difficult, but she loves it. Nos acabamos de estar haciendo. How, How does, does she, she like? How does, How she, does like? she like? How does she like? Like. like it? ¿Le gusta? ¿No le gusta? Yeah, it's difficult, but she loves it. 
your brother? What is the question? At the airport is the answer. What does your brother? Ha. Listen to the what question. Your brother. Tenemos at the airport en la respuesta. Where? Where, where, does, where? Your does your brother? Where? where? Because we need a place, right? Where okay. does your brother work? Work at the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, he doesn't really like it. How does he like it? How does he like it? How does he like it? He doesn't really like it, right? Do your parents their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. How do yeah. your parents? How, how do your, do your how parents do like, like their jobs? I yes, guess sir. they like them. I don't remember. In an office Where? in the city. Where do they work? Where do they work? Right? Where do they work? In an office in the city. Number four. What? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I am a student. I see. Do you your classes? They are good. I like them a lot. How do you like? How do you like your classes? How do you like your classes? They are good. I like them a lot. Okay, we are going to practice the different conversations. Elizabeth, can you help me to practice the first one? We are going to practice this one here. Okay, this um, conversation. I am going to start and you continue. What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves loves it. Very good. Susana and Arvin, can you practice conversation number two? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Where does your brother work? At the April is a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really uh, like it. He doesn't really like it. Good, very good. Mr. Omar and Cynthia, conversation three. Um, who is going to begin? Uh, you can start, Omar, are you ready? I think Omar, it's watching the game. Okay, Juan, <laughs> Juan, can you help me with Cynthia? Okay, which one? Number three. The third one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Close. How, how do your parents like their job? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? In an office in the city. Very good job. Your parents, parents, remember. And number four is going to be for Maritza and Tirsa. ¿Quién empieza? Uh, you can start. Maritza, are you ready? Maritza anda con Omar. <laughs> okay, Maximo, help me, please. Number four. Yes, with Tirsa. Go ahead. What do you do, Tirsa? I am a student. I see. How do you like your classes? They are good. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Thank you very much. Great job to all my volunteers and my not sub volunteers, but I chose them. <laughs> you did a very good job. <laughs> Fantastic. Me encanta escoger a los voluntarios. <laughs> it, is, it is very good. Okay, if you want to describe a job, 
if you want to describe a job, you can do it with these different adjectives. For example, jobs can be dangerous, interesting, stressful, well-paid, bien pagados, exciting, difficult, challenging, rewarding, demanding, lonely, right? Lonely, repetitive, mechanical, important, practical, convenient, or fantastic. These are some of the adjectives that you can use to describe a job. But for example, in my case, if I have to tell you, a teacher's job is interesting, demanding, important, challenging, rewarding, and fantastic. That's a teacher's job. If we are talking about a doctor, what type of adjectives do you think a doctor's job might have? Repetitive. Repetitive. Important. Important. Well paid. Well paid, right? In some cases, yeah, it's very well paid. Another one. Difficult, right? Difficult. Practical. Practical. What else do you think for a doctor? Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, now with COVID, imagine. Challenging, right? Challenging because it's like, oh my God, what should I do? Right? Tell me about the job of a call center agent. Juan is your moment. <laughs> Stressful. 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 Maybe. Difficult. Repetitive. Difficult, repetitive. It's well paid in some cases. Challenging. Interesting. Interesting. And it can be really lonely. Porque está ahí solito con su vida y el teléfono, right? Lonely. No. And if you are in your house, that's even the double. Tell me, the job of a firefighter. A firefighter. Danger. A firefighter. It's dangerous. dangerous. Demanding. 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 Stressful. Stressful. In the, Practical. In Practical. Interesting. Interesting. You say? Interesting. 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 Very good. You say? Interesting. Important. 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 Right? Because many people say important and it's not important. It's important. Ya le voy a enviar la pronunciación para que la vean. Exciting. Exciting. Right? Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> yeah, if you, you can die. It, that can be difficult and really, really, really demanding, right? It can be really stressful and demanding. So there is a part in the platform that you can, in which you need to use this one. And many of you were asking, a firefighter's job is dangerous, right? Aquí usamos el posesivo. Es el trabajo de quién? Right? A firefighter's job. El trabajo de un bombero. 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 El trabajo de un doctor. doctor. Es lo mismo que si decimos, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Okay? Un bombero tiene un trabajo difícil o peligroso. O el trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. It is the same. But in one, you use the possessive. And in the other one, you don't use the possessive, but you use has, okay? So that is the form, okay? Había un ejercicio ahí en la plataforma que se refería a esto, right? A doctor's job is stressful. A doctor has a stressful job, okay? That is the form of the sentences here. And I think 
we have uh, this one, but this is the one that we have in the platform. So we are going to go to the platform right now in these last minutes of the night so we can check for, sorry for the commercials in the back. I don't know if you can listen. No sé si escuchan a mi pequeño. Yes. Ratón hablando. Yeah, <laughs> yeah está contando de la mermelada. So, <laughs> uh, yes, he's like, he's very busy talking. Okay, I am going to, let me see. Let me open, let me open the platform, okay? I am going to, okay. Here I go, okay? I am here in the platform. Let me share it for you. Here I go. Okay, so this is what we have been working. We work on section two already. Section three, what do you do, right? In this one, we have different questions in this specific section. So for the exams that we have here, I think many of you finished them, okay? Creo que ya muchos de ustedes los terminaron. The first one is the one that we did yesterday in class, okay? Este fue el primero que hicimos ayer en clase. So this one, you should have finished. What is his job? Number four, he is a pilot. She is a flight attendant. He is a musician. He is a singer, right? He is a judge. He is a police officer. He is a lawyer, right? He is a cook. He is a waiter. She is a waitress, right? She is a cashier. She is a salesperson and she is a security guard. This is the one that we did yesterday in class. Esto lo hicimos ayer en clase. And the other one for this unit, it's the one that we just did. Este es el que acabamos de hacer en clase. El de las preguntas. It's difficult, but she loves it. How does she like it? Okay, lo acabamos de hacer en el parque. Your brother at the airport, he's a pilot. Si tenemos un lugar, where? Right? He doesn't really like it. Which one? How? 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 Do your parents their jobs? I guess they like them. How? How? I don't remember. In an office in the city. Where? Where, right? I'm a student. What do you do? What? what do you do? I see. Your classes, they are good. I like them a lot. How do you like? How do you like your classes, right? And you submit it and for sure, you are going to have a perfect 10. This is the exercise that we just finished. Tuve que corregir como tres, pero me salió buena al final. So, well, you see, lo bueno es que todavía fue. Ok, eso es importante. Si de repente hicieron un ejercicio antes y se equivocaron y no les quedó con el, en el score perfecto, ahora que ya lo vamos revisando, los pueden ir corrigiendo. Ok, los pueden ir corrigiendo y los pueden enviar de nuevo para que les quede todo al 100%. Ok, eso es importante. No es algo de que ya lo hice, ah, quedó escrito ahí en piedra, ya no lo puedo corregir. Claro que podemos ir y decir, ah, ahora ya comprendí esto, lo cambio, lo arreglo y me queda en la, la nota perfecta, okay? So this is important. This is exactly what we just finished, right? Creo que hasta se los envié en unas capturas. A police officer, a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. A police officer job is dangerous. How, would, how are you going to transform it? Uh, Police, a police has a dangerous job. A police officer a has police a dangerous officer. job. Excellent. A police officer. Sí, por eso esa no me salía porque yo solo le ponía police. Y después oh. me fijé detalladamente. Yeah, aquí, oficial de policía. Aquí tenemos que tener cuidado con los dobles espacios, con el símbolo, con el punto. Todos esos detallitos tenemos que ser muy, muy, muy cuidadosos. Por ese doble espacio no podía avanzar. Ah, sí, ya ven, pero siempre ahí lo, se lo... Desde que lo vi yo dije, doble espacio. Sí. 
<laughs> a police officer has a dangerous job in the period, right? A teacher's job is a stressful. A teacher, teacher has a teacher has a stressful job. Okay, a teacher has a stressful job. A plumber's job is boring. A plumber, a plumber has, has a boring, a boring job. job. Very good. An electrician's job is difficult. A electrician has a difficult job. Okay, an electrician has, here I am going to go with the sentence. An electrician, an electrician has a, a difficult, difficult job. Good job. An electrician has a difficult job. A difficult, a, a difficult, difficult is, <laughs> is not possible. A difficult. vendor's a vendor's job is easy. A vendor's a vendor has, has a vendor has a easy a, job. An, an, easy. an easy job. An easy job. ¿Por qué? Porque el adjetivo easy comienza con vocal. Ok. Eh. A vendor's job has, a vendor has an easy job. Ok. In this case, these were the exams that we have for unit number three. And the last one, that it's the one that we're just uh, to assign as homework is a reading. In this reading, you are going to have the different profiles. And in these ones, what you are going to do is to answer according to the information that you have in the paragraphs, okay? Here you have four different profiles. An actress, a video game tester, a dog walker, and a teacher, right? You have the different job profiles. This one, you have to read each of them and to analyze it. After I win, I take a break. Who says this one? ¿Quién ya lo hizo y quién lo recuerda? John Blue. John Blue. Right? De ganar, toma un descanso. Yeah, it's the video game tester. Do you remember the next one? I don't usually work in the summer. Es el teacher, no sé cómo se llama. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, right? Carlos pues, Ruiz. Pero en verano no trabajan por las vacaciones. Yeah, for sure. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, because she works in a restaurant. Very good. And after work, my feet and arms are tired. Becky, Becky. Peck. Becky Peck, because she's a dog walker, right? For sure, her arms are going to be tired. And there you go. If you hadn't finished, there you have it. The only thing that you are missing, y esa sí va a ser la tarea para el día de mañana, que si ya ¿Mañana? completamos, es la tarea, si ya completamos la, <risa> la, tarea, la tarea, si ya completamos la sección 3, hagamos todos los exámenes de midterm, ¿ok? Para que nos quede todo completado. Si ya, lo sí, tenemos, ya completé los exámenes. Excelente, no homework. No, sí, sí, si, ya terminaron, si ya terminaron los exámenes midterm, no hay tarea. Pero si no, hagámoslos el día de mañana. Ya estamos completados con los ejercicios de la sección 3. So, my dear students, it was a pleasure to see you once again. It's fantastic to have you here. And for sure, I'm going to see you in the next class. Please practice, finish the exams. Have a beautiful weekend and I'm going to see you on Monday. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Thank Good you, night. Teacher. Bye. Have a Bye. beautiful Bye, night. Good night. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Thank Good night, Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.